Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, well, welcome to Suda Port or Harbour in uh, on the beautiful island of Crete uh, near Hamia. All right, so that's where we are. And uh, the reason for the video is to um, show you what I saw a chap, a Greek guy, doing yesterday. And it was quite a, a very primitive way of fishing, but boy oh boy, did it work for him. So I thought, why not? If you can't beat him, join him. Do as the locals do. So uh, that's the reason for the video, to show you his technique. Um, some of you that have never done this or seen it, will probably find it quite hilarious. <laughs> uh, but believe me, while I was, we were sat there for half an hour, 45 minutes, he caught three or four or five fish. So uh, he done quite well, and they're all decent size as well. And all it was was a matter of bread and a few hooks. That was it, and a line. So here's a demonstration of how he did it and see if it works for me. There's certainly fish out there. There we are. We're in between the boats because the fish are feeding off the boats. Little, they're only small fish at the moment, but uh, we have seen some decent ones. Sea bass, by the looks of it. So uh, there we are. So let's give it a whirl and see what happens? Yes, yes. Rock and roll. Right then, so all it was was a piece of white bread and he took the crusts off around the edge. All right, he kept them for a little bit of bait. All right, and he left pretty much square bread like that. Then what he did was this. Let me show you. He had a line with about eight hooks on. But unfortunately today I've only got three hooks. But the method's the same, so we'll see how it goes. But what he did was this. So he had a piece of bread like this, and what he did, he put the hook in there like that, with the line, okay. As I say, he had about 10 hooks. Then he folded the bread over like that, okay, with the line coming out. Then what he did was um, he then wrapped it around like this, so it kept the bread in one piece all right so it's not going to sort of fall apart okay that was what he did because so I stood and watched him do it so he wrapped all that around there like that so I don't know if you can see but it's you can see the line the lines there then what he did was this he rolled it up like that into a, like a little ball. Rolled it and rolled it like that, okay. Then he got some more line, the other hook, because don't forget this is packed full of hooks. There's one hook sticking out here, around the bread like that. So there's three hooks in here. So now, as you can see, the bread's all nice and tight, okay. Yeah, sir. Kala. What is it? Uh, I can tell you Aha. Aha. Do you Kala? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And what he did, what he did, guys, was he stuck the hooks in like that. Then what he did was wet it. This is Linda's line. So there we are, look. Like I say, the, the thing is, is that the, 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 uh, the bread won't fall apart because it's tied up and wrapped up in uh, fishing line. So you just wet it like that, so it's nice and wet, and then he just threw it out. Like that. So you see guys, the idea is this. Bring it a bit closer for you. Now that the bread's wet, you can see the hooks sticking out. See that? See the hook sticking out there? And one the other side. See, look? So that's the idea, and the bread stays in one bit. Uh, I've not caught anything yet, but I've only been doing it 10 minutes. Um, but believe me, it does seem to work. Obviously, the more hooks, the better chance you've got of catching something, like that guy did yesterday. But uh, anyway, give it a whirl. It's easy to cast out as well. Very easy to cast out. And uh, see how we go. Just reel it in and uh, gently, and hopefully one of those puppies will get uh, caught on the... Uh, I've only got two hooks on the outside of the bread and one on the inside. So next time I go to the fishing shop, I'll be getting uh, 10 hooks. Oh, yes. More hooks, the better chance, I reckon. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe.